Hello, Hastefest here. This is going to be a video on how to set up your UI so as a default. So once you have everything the way that you like it on your first character, any character that you create after that will automatically have everything set up the way that you like it so that you don't have to fix your UI every single time you create a character. So we're just going to create a random character. We're going to log in and see what the UI looks like currently. And it's a mess. My UI is absolutely trashed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix my UI. So let's go ahead options. Let's go ahead and get all three quick bars on the screen. Set it up so that we can have our quick bars bottom here. So if you're someone who absolutely hates having to fix your UI every single time, this will be the one for you. So once we get everything set up the way that we like it, you can save it as a default. And this will also save your cue binds. If you want to use the same cue binds for multiple different characters. It will also save your macros. So now that I have that set up, let's go ahead and put my leveling experience on the bar. Go. Let's go ahead and put our realm points on the bar. Go ahead and put our resistances and our stats on. That. Put our. Separate our combat out and our main. And this will say the, um, the opacity. It will save the sizes positions of all of your UIs. Once you get everything the way that you like it, do this once. Alpha, looking through, dark. Go ahead and get the ping and the clock off the screen. Go ahead and pull up our quiver. Quiver up here. We got our pet menu. We got pet classes. Put up a group menu. All right, now that I got the way that I want it to look, that's in a pretty good spot. Now that I got my UI set up the way that I want, uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my macros. Macro cell slash cell one through four. This is mostly for Atlas, but you can use it on any server. It'll be the same on any server pretty much. I'll macro and move on the bar up a little bit. Now that we have everything set up the way that we want, we're going to go ahead and quit out of the game back to the character select. While that's happening, we're going to go into our folder here. So in this folder, we're going to go to the C drive. We're going to go to our users folder. We're going to go to the name of our computer. Scroll down to app data. If this app data file is not shown, you turn the hidden files on. Once you have the hidden files 
uh, on, come to app data, go to roaming. We're gonna go down to electronic arts, RPG Camelot. Here, we're gonna pick Atlas, but if you have another server that you're on, it will be in here named Celestius, Era, whatever it is, Phoenix, Phoenix 2. So, we're gonna go to Atlas. Uh, I have it selected by date modified, which is always going to be the last character I was on, which is this one here. We're going to go to the configuration settings. It might not be configuration settings on your computer. It might be dot INI. So we're going to right click, go to edit. This should open it up in notepad. If it doesn't open up in notepad, it's like open with notepad. Now you can see that we're in here. If I scroll down, we can see that everything's set up. Here is our hotkeys where our macros are on our bars. Here is our macros that we actually have on the character. And this will save it so that all of these are gonna be on every new character, okay? Everything that we saw in our UI is gonna be in that spot the way that we want it. So now that we see that macros are here, and if you have any Q binds, they'll be under the Q binds list here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna select all. We're going to copy with control C and then we are going to close. Now that we've done that, we are gonna to go to our Dark Age of Camelot folder. So it'll be your Atlas folder, Electronic Arts, Dark Age of Camelot. And this is gonna be where your Camelot.exe is and your UI folder and all that. We're gonna go all the way down to where you see a bunch of notepads, which are .ini files and say default, and then it has different resolutions for each default. We are going to go to the default only with no numbers. We're going to go to edit. We're gonna open it up. We're gonna scroll down. We can see that there's no macros and there's no Q binds. So we're gonna select everything here and we're gonna paste over it. So I like to delete everything first, paste it in. We can see that the macros are there. We can see that if you have any Q binds, they will be here. We'll file, save, and we're gonna close this out, but we're not done yet. We're also gonna go to the default resolution of your UI, so go back to your character select, go to options, check in the top left where it says resolution under graphics. I am at 1920 by 1080. So whatever that number is, the first number, 1920, is in this case, mine, okay? So we'll go back to our, our folder here. We're gonna go down to the default number that we're using for our UI. So I'm gonna go to 1920. We're gonna go to edit. And then we're gonna highlight everything here, delete it, and paste again. Our macro goes up, our hotkeys show up, and our cubines show up if you have any. File, save, close. So this is a redundancy. If the default doesn't pick it up, the resolution default should pick it up, okay? Now, go back to Dark Age of Camelot, create a new character. New character, continue. Okay, the character was created, we're gonna hit play. If everything went right, it should save our UI settings. And it did. Everything is the same. Map is there, everything, my macros are here immediately. I can train, task, cell, and XP stats. That's all there is to it. So just make sure that you have the right character name when you save the file. Um, so you can take whatever file is in there. Let's go back through it so I can show you. But you can take whatever character you like the, out, uh, the user interface for and you can take that character's UI and you can transfer it to another character as a base setup. However, side note, if you do this with a character that's already level 50 and has a bunch of uh, um, skills and stuff on their bar, those are going to transfer to the new character. They're just gonna be placeholder icons and you'll just have to shift click them all off to get them to go away. Uh, so if you wanna have a clean, fresh look UI like I have here, you want to do this on a new character, set it up one time. Once it's done, all you have to do is go in, copy that character's INI file, 
to your default INI file in your Camelot, uh, in your Atlas folder, and you're good to go. So again, this works with macros, cubines, your UI placement, all that stuff. And this works with custom UIs as well as default UIs. Anyway, see you guys in game. Thanks for watching.